Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today we're trying all three of Butterball's new premium snack packs. They have a 2.8 Thanksgiving premium snack pack, a 2.8 citrus teriyaki snack pack, and a 2.4 ounce Cajun style snack pack. Each one of them costs $3.29, which seems a little bit pricey to me, but I do have to say, the actual flavor combos sound good. What do you, the people, think? We tried the Butterball Cajun Style Premium Snack Pack first, which has seasoned carved turkey breast with cornbread chips and dried apple pieces, which we're going to talk a little bit more about the apple pieces in just a minute. But you have to keep in mind, Mrs. Wolfpit brought these home, and before she put everything on a plate, I hadn't seen or read the label yet. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, except in the cornbread chips. So at least now we know two thirds of the package has no artificial ingredients. But with that said, how can they have a label that says 100% natural? Now if they said the turkey was 100% natural, that would be one thing. But people that are really conscious about what they put in their bodies, read 100% natural, they end up eating the snack, and then when they go to throw the package away, they see cornbread chips have artificial ingredients, which is the point where they stick their finger down their throat trying to regurgitate the unnatural food they put in their body, and then they go home and do a seven day colon cleanse. So what would you call this? Misconception by the manufacturer? Or don't assume anything and read all the fine print. Haven't you guys ever heard the story about little Andy? Well, little Andy, he found a little dog poopy on the ground, assumed it was candy, and then ate it. Today's lesson, ensure you know what you're eating before it goes in your mouth. Don't be like Andy. Cajun style premium snacks. Old school comfort with a Cajun twist. Now what part of old school comfort am I missing? I think people come up with stuff and type it before they even think about what they're saying. Now here's the list of ingredients in our old school comfort with a Cajun twist. Each Cajun style premium snack pack has 140 calories, three grams of total fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 420 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, seven grams of sugars, and 10 grams of protein. So let's open up our Cajun style snack pack and see what's inside. And it doesn't look too bad, does it? Well, it may not look too bad, but it also doesn't look like it's a lot of food for $3. But I guess Butterball realized that and put a dollar off coupon in every pack. And to you, the people, I apologize. The plate we're using today looks like someone used a belt sander on it, not the prettiest of plates. Now there's the Cajun style turkey. The cornbread chips, which look like goldfish crackers. And here's the point where I thought I was losing my mind. Like I said, Mrs. Wolfpit brought these home for the video, and I didn't read anything on the package until I heard this. What is that? Why is it hard? I don't know. Oh, hell no. For some reason, I thought the Cajun snack pack had turkey, cornbread crisps, and cheese. I'm not sure why I assumed it was cheese, but when I heard this, I knew it wasn't gonna be good if it was cheese. Why would cheese be so hard? Well, as we know now, it's dried apples and not cheese. Now it's time to give everything in the snack pack a try. And we started off with the cornbread crisp. Now let's pause the video for a minute. I must have a lot of new subscribers. If you are new, thank you for subscribing but I've been getting a lot of new comments lately about my nails. Like this comment, and it's a good one. Why does this dude paint his nails? Is he gay? Ha! <laughs> gay! I'm pretty sure that painting your fingernails isn't a prerequisite to being gay. But even if it was, who cares? I think it's pretty obvious, and I thought most of you, the people, also thought it was obvious. Those are not my hands. And it's easy to tell those aren't my hands. I use a different color. 
These are obviously Mrs. Wolfpit's hands. So back to the cornbread crisp. It was actually pretty darn good. I expected it to taste absolutely nothing like cornbread. But it really did, with good seasoning on it. It even had that gritty cornbread texture to it. Good job on that, Butterball. Next, we tried the dried pieces of apples. And the dried apples were delicious, but they tasted just like any other dry apples I've ever had. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is the state-of-the-art, scientifically designed, highly scoopable spoon of Sioux. It's part of the Plaza Sioux cutlery line that you, the people, have been requesting. I figured since we broke out the spoon of Sioux, we might as well go ahead and break out the scientifically designed, state-of-the-art, very forkable fork of Sioux. So we use the fork of Sioux to shake a piece of the Cajun turkey. And the thing I liked most about the turkey was it didn't look perfect at all. I mean, obviously, it was cut perfectly round, but the seasoning looked a little bit sloppy, which I actually like. It made it look a little bit more rustic, but that doesn't mean it's going to make it taste any better. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. Now the turkey was okay, but it was really firm. It wasn't tough or chewy. It was just really, really firm for turkey. Even for processed turkey, it was firm. Not the tender texture that you usually associate with turkey. As far as the Cajun seasonings go, it wasn't very Cajun-y. When I think of Cajun foods, I think of a very savory, herbal, mildly spiced food. It's gotta have spice, but not too much spice, which this did not have, and it's just gotta be surrounded by flavors, which this also didn't have. But even with that said, it wasn't bad. Now I know this doesn't really make sense with this particular food, but in most of my review videos, I take the final obligatory bite of everything together which is what we're doing here. We got a piece of turkey, the apples, and the cornbread crisps all piled high on the fork of soup. And everything together was pretty tasty, but I still wouldn't call it Cajun. Now let's try Butterball's premium citrus teriyaki snack pack, which is seasoned carved turkey breast with sesame sticks and dried pineapple pieces, minimally processed. No artificial ingredients, except in the sesame sticks. Citrus style premium snacks. Asian inspired flavors that transport you with every bite. Here's a list of ingredients for the carved citrus teriyaki seasoned turkey breast, the dried pineapple pieces, and the sesame sticks. The whole Butterball Citrus Snack Pack has 180 calories, 5 grams of total fat, 1 gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol. 490 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 16 grams of sugars, and 10 grams of protein. Now let's open up the package and see what's inside. It doesn't look too bad, but again, it doesn't look like a whole lot of food. But at least Butterball gave us another coupon. Now here's the teriyaki turkey, and it looks pretty much just like the Cajun turkey. And there's our sesame sticks. And the dried pineapple. So we put the spoon of Sioux back in action and scooped up some of the pineapple. And we're using a spoon for you, the people's viewing pleasure. If we held them in our fingers, you wouldn't be able to see the pieces of pineapple. And the dried pineapple is delicious. Next, we scooped up some sesame sticks, which happened to be one of my favorite snacks. And these sesame sticks didn't disappoint. They were perfect, salty and nutty and absolutely delicious. And there's our citrus teriyaki turkey. And just like the Cajun turkey, it looked and tasted pretty good. It did have just a little bit more flavor than the Cajun turkey did though. And there actually was a subtle teriyaki flavor. But again, the turkey was pretty firm. It wasn't as hard as the Cajun turkey, but it was still a bit firm. Like I said, not chewy or not tough, it was just firm. And finally, for the obligatory bite of everything, the turkey, the pineapple, and the sesame sticks. 
This was a great combination of flavors. Savory, salty and sweet, and just simply delicious. Each flavor woke the other flavor up 10 notches. Initially, there was a subtle teriyaki flavor, but once everything was mixed together, the teriyaki flavor really came out. Finally, we're gonna try Butterball's Premium Thanksgiving Snack, which is holiday season carved turkey breast with stuffing bites and dried cranberries. And again, everything is all natural, except the stuffing bites. Thanksgiving Premium Snacks, your favorite parts of a holiday meal and a snack size. Here's the ingredients in the carved holiday style turkey breast, the dried cranberries, and the stuffing bites. The whole Butterball Premium Thanksgiving Snack Pack has 160 calories, 2 grams of total fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 380 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, 18 grams of sugars, and 10 grams of protein. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. And there you have your holiday season turkey, your stuffing bites, and your dried cranberries. And of course, the $1 off coupon. So let's spread out our holiday season turkey. The stuffing bites. And the dried cranberries. So we tried the dried cranberries first. The dried cranberries were really good. They were nice and tart and just sweet enough, not overly sweet. And then we tried the stuffing bites, which is a fancy name for croutons. And they tasted just like a seasoned crouton. Next we tried a piece of the holiday seasoned turkey. And it really looked no different than the other two pieces. But it was seasoned pretty darn good. The main difference in this piece of turkey and the first piece of Cajun turkey we tried is this one wasn't nearly as firm. I'm guessing the Cajun one was so firm because it was the first one we tried out of the fridge. And then after sitting a few minutes, the Thanksgiving snack pack is the last one we tried, which the meat would have warmed up and therefore softened up. But once we tried everything in the last bite, it really did taste like Thanksgiving in your mouth. So now I'm going to rate them from the worst to the best. The Butterball Premium Cajun Snack Pack was my least favorite. There wasn't anything necessarily wrong with it, other than the turkey being too firm. It was just underwhelming and I just don't get the Cajun feel about it. Sprinkling some Cajun spices over turkey doesn't really make it Cajun. My second least favorite, or second favorite, however you want to look at it, was the Butterball Premium Thanksgiving Snacks. The turkey was a little bit softer on this one, and all the flavors blended really well. And like I said, you could taste Thanksgiving in your mouth. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious now what my favorite Butterball Premium Snack was, the Citrus Teriyaki. But I was a little bit baffled they called it citrus teriyaki because pineapple isn't a citrus fruit. It's a tropical fruit. But citrus fruits are a subcategory of tropical fruits. Are you confused yet? The teriyaki flavor combined with the sesame sticks and the pineapple pieces was a perfect flavor bomb. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon.